is this Samantha? Yes, who is this? I can't tell you that. I know someone who is in your church group and got your number from them. I just needed to talk to you. U H H H O K. I'm a little confused, but what do you need to talk to me about? Are you still married to Darren? Yes, of course, we are still married. Why? Well, he has been spending a lot of time with my friend while he is at work at the church. She goes to eat lunch with him in his office almost every day when she isn't in school. She said he said you were planning on leaving him. She must be confused. Or maybe trying to brag about spending time with him. He is a godly man and my husband. He would never say such things. Look, you and believe me or not, that's your choice. But he has been sending he flowers and chocolate at school and I've seen the texts between the two of them. He is definitely at least flirting with her. Well, do you have any proof? This is a very serious accusation. No, not really. He never puts his name on the presents and I don't have screenshots of her texts. It's fine if you don't believe me, but I wanted to let you know so I don't have that on my conscience. Well, thank you for reaching out. It is a kind thing to do, even when you aren't sure about what is going on. I will definitely keep my eyes open. Can I ask how old you and your friend are? I'm 16 and my friend is 15. I thought it was kinda weird how interested he is in her. But she said he told her she was very mature for her age and God always intended for women to marry and bear children at her age. She thinks they will end up married. Do you guys go to the private school the church directs or the public school? The public school. He told her he always takes special interest in the younger church members that go to the public school because he worries they will stray from the path due to temptation they see every day. He told her that you have strayed too far to be saved and that is why your marriage will not actually work. He said he wishes you were more docile and obedient to the Lord like my friend is. Okay, thank you for letting me know. I will look into it. I appreciate you. Don't tell him about me. He'll know who I am. Please don't say et Are you seeing someone else? What? Absolutely not. How could you ever even accuse me of that? I'm just asking. Someone told me you were flirting and sending flowers to their friend that goes to the high school I used to attend. I'm just wanting to make sure that this is all a misunderstanding. I am disgusted you would even feel the need to ask me that. I am a good man and a good husband to you. I give you the world. And you accuse me of something so awful. I just needed to say something. You're giving off the impression to someone so maybe just think more about how you act towards other girls. I don't want people accusing you of something like that. How I come across? How about you, coming across like a damn hooker every time you leave the house? All that makeup you wear just screams that you are looking for attention. It's disgusting. I'm not accusing you of anything. There's no reason to be hateful. Calm down. That's not hateful. I can show you hateful if you want. Right now I am so extremely offended and hurt that you would let those words come out of your mouth. After everything I've done to help you and provide for you and you betray me like that. All right, well, I'm very sorry. Let's just drop it. No, let's not drop it. Because I am smart enough to know that someone who accuses their partner of cheating is always the cheater. So who are you seeing while I'm working my ash off for our family? Can you explain that? 
I'm not entertaining this. I have to go take care of the baby. That's right, run off without answering the question. Don't worry, I'll find out who he is. I know everyone in this area. And even if I was seeing someone else, can you even blame me? Look at yourself. You've let yourself go since having the baby. You look awful now, and you never dress up for me anymore when I come home. You look like a homeless person most of the time. And it's not like you ever willingly want to sleep with me. I have needs, and if you won't fulfill them, someone else will. I'm not cheating, but I always can find someone else if you can't fulfill your vows to me as a wife. Hey Lily, it's Samantha. Hey, did you get a new phone? This is a new number. Yeah, I bought a minute phone at the store when I went grocery shopping so Darren couldn't see my texts. He's been reading and tracking your texts? Oh my god. That's completely insane. What are you going to do? I'm done. I just got a call the other day from some girl at the high school saying he's been cheating on me with a 15-year-old. He's a P3 dophile. I don't trust him around my baby. What a scumbag. Why am I not surprised though? How are you going to leave? I don't know. He has so much against me. I have no way of supporting the baby by myself right away, and he knows that he has me trapped. I don't know what to do. We have a spare room at our house. You can stay here until I graduate, and then we can get an apartment together or something. But you can't keep staying there. I can't do that to you guys. When he realizes I left, he's going to flip out. I don't want to put all of that on your family. It's going to be ugly. We don't mind, I promise. You know my parents love you. We just want you safe. No, I need to stay here and get as much dirt as I can on Darren. That way I have something to use on him when we go to court. You know this is going to end up ugly. Okay. Just please be safe. Leave before it gets too bad. I will. But for now at least I can pull money every time I go shopping to save and get proof that he is the scum that he is. Okay. Let me know if you need anything, seriously. Text me at least every few days so I know you're still okay. I don't trust him at all. Neither do I. But I will be okay for now. This is the best way I can build a case against him and keep my daughter safe in the long run. I hope he gets locked up, honestly. After all the shady, nasty shit he's done, he deserves serious jail time. He is disgusting. I'm so glad you finally have decided to get out of there. You and baby deserve so much better. You know, you've really started slacking around the house. It's never clean anymore when I come home and you are always napping with the baby. I'm tired. She keeps me up a lot of the night lately, and I don't have anyone to help me. I'm doing my best. I don't care if you are tired. You have a job to do at home, and you are failing. Maybe we should hire someone to help you get work done around the house. That's fine with me. It'd love to have someone help cook and clean. A break would be nice. No, I mean someone to watch the baby so you can get your work done. I know a teenager who has been looking for babysitting jobs over the summer break to make some extra cash. 
Why would we hire someone to babysit when I can take care of the baby? It makes more sense to hire someone to help with household chores. No, the baby needs to start getting used to other people. She cannot always be so attached to you. It's not healthy that she doesn't have any attachment to anyone else. This young woman is lovely and would treat her wonderfully. Who even is this girl? How old is she? She's someone I've taken under my wing and offered guidance to. She needs a strong leadership in her life and our family can offer her that. You cannot seriously be talking about the girl who claims you are having a relationship with her. You are standing here saying you want to bring her into our home to care for our child. And you think this is normal. We have discussed this, and I have already told you that is not happening. I expect you to drop this and move on. I believe this is a good idea, and I have already asked her to come here this weekend to get to know the baby. No, that isn't happening. I'm not having your side piece around my baby. If you want her in the house so badly, then daughter and I will leave. Then you can have privacy with the 15-year-old. Fine then. If you want to disrespect me like this and accuse me of such terrible things, then you are free to leave. I have no desire for nasty women such as you to be in my life. But my daughter will remain with me. That will never happen. She will stay with me. Then I guess you aren't leaving. You're awake. Welcome back, Samantha. How are you feeling? I don't know. What's going on? Where am I? You're in County Hospital. You passed out in the middle of the grocery store this morning and were brought here by ambulance. Your baby is okay. We contacted your husband and he came to pick her up. He said he would be back after he brought her to your parents. I passed out? Why did I pass out? What happened to me? Well, Samantha, it turns out that you were pregnant. You were about eight weeks along, but unfortunately it was an ectopic pregnancy. Your fallopian tube ruptured this morning, and you lost consciousness. We are lucky we got you into surgery when we did. Surgery. I was in surgery. I feel fine though. You still have a lot of pain medication in your system. Once it begins to wear off you will feel it. Unfortunately we were unable to save the tube that ruptured and it had to be removed. Oh, okay. This is a lot to process. Is it okay if I have some alone time just so I can digest all of this? Of course. We will send your husband up here when he arrives. Your cell phone is on the bedside table if you need to call anyone. Thank you. Where are you and daughter? I'm awake. Is baby okay? Baby is fine. I have her at home with me. We will not be coming to the hospital. Why not? I want to see baby and I'm going to need someone to drive me home. What's going on? This loss is clearly a sign from God that you are not the right wife for me. Your own body has allowed for the death of our child. I cannot allow this to happen again. I have told my attorney to file for full custody and divorce immediately upon the opening of the courts tomorrow morning. You can't just take my child away because I had an ectopic pregnancy. You are insane. Divorce me all you want, but you can't keep my child from me. Until there is a court order, I will not be leaving daughter with you. I have hired a nanny to care for her and she has been instructed to keep her safe from you as well. You will not harm another one of my children.